powerful, often raw emotions here on day two of the sentencing hearing for Jaskarat Sadu, the truck driver in the Humboldt Broncos bus crash. And some of those emotions we heard coming through victim impact statements. Russell Harold talking about his son, Adam, saying that the family's fourth generation farm now in jeopardy after the death. And also saying directly to Mr. Sadu, looking at him in the courtroom, asking him if he knew what it felt to hold your 220 pound, six foot two son on your lap in an urn. But perhaps the most visceral show of emotion coming from Andrea Joseph, mother of Jackson Joseph. She called Sadu an arrogant, inconsiderate monster for blowing that stop sign and killing her son, vowing to never forgive him. It's not right just because they're bigger. Why should semi trucks just be arrogant and drive through stop signs? What gives them the right to make that choice? We can't drive through a stop sign. We'd be in jail. I feel like whatever the sentence is, we're going to be disappointed. If it were 14 years, we're going to be disappointed. I think the only thing that would leave us not disappointed would be something new, something different, something that set, set precedent. Now, there was also another theme running through today, the current of forgiveness. Uh, Christina Hogan, the wife of Darcy Hogan, the coach of the Humboldt Broncos, saying that, that she chooses forgiveness. We also heard from Paul Jefferson, the billet parent for both Tyler Smith and Parker Tobin. He, too, offering forgiveness. Justice is important, but mercy is important, too. And so my request that the court consider that his life not be ruined forever by this one terrible, terrible mistake. We're also learning a bit more about Jaskarit Sadu's driving, and specifically as it pertains to his logbook. RCMP confirming that there were a total of 70 violations, 51 federal, 19 provincial. Uh, taking a look at the log dates leading back to late March, there were missing days. There were questions about his mileage and distance. And as for that fateful day, well, RCMP say that there was an incomplete log for April 6th. Now, had they pulled him over. Given those violations, he would have received a 72-hour suspension of his commercial license. We are expecting more victim impact statements, ultimately leading into submission from the defense and crown coming up before the end of this week. In Melfort, Courtney Terrio, City News.